everything that you have ever wanted, every situation, every life experience, every conversation, everything you have contemplated, everything that you have focused upon, everything that you observe or imagine, everything that you remember, everything that has been deciphered through the focusing mechanism that is called you, you, you in your physical form, all of that has caused constant additions to your vibrational escrow because you cannot know what you don't want without knowing what you do want at many levels of your being. So all day, every day, you are contributing to this vibrational escrow account. Do you know what we mean by that? Do you understand that everything that you see around you in physical terms, the manifestation that you see, all of it was thought before it was manifestation. Every bit of every bit of every bit of it. So everything is thought first. So that's what happens. You came forth from your non-physical perspective and projected part of your consciousness into this time-space reality focused through the you that you know as the you in your personality and your human form. And as you live here, even before you had language as that infant, you were deciphering contrast and you were giving birth to rockets of desires. And the reason that we call them rockets of desires is because they shoot out of you vibrationally in thought form from the basis that you are standing in all day every day. So these rockets of desires, these preferences that shoot forth from you are the leading edge of what will become the future you. You're shooting these rockets of desire out. Don't have enough money, want more money. Don't feel good, want to feel better. Someone's rude to me, want them to be nicer. I'm rude to someone, I want to be nicer. All day, every day, contrast causing you to form this vibrational prepaving of that which you are, which when you croak, you'll catch up with. But what we want to talk about here today is, can you catch up with it pre-croaking? <laughs> Good new title for the seminar. <laughs> pre-croaking pre alignment. <laughs> Letting myself be who life has caused me to become. Now we want you to understand the big picture. You are source energy, and as you are source energy, prior to coming forth into this physical body, a part of that source energy that is you comes forth into this physical body. But the larger part of that source energy that is you does not come forth into this physical body. The larger part of that source energy, sometimes you call it soul, remains non-physically focused. But a part of that source energy comes forth into you. Here in your physical format, you explore contrast and give birth to constant improvements from your point of view, from your personal physical point of view but from your non-physical point of view as well. So when that rocket of desire emanates from you, the source that is really you surrounds that desire, gives undivided attention to it, and literally becomes the vibrational equivalent of what you're asking for. This is such an important thing for you to understand. We've written a book recently, and it's entitled, Ask and It is Given. And that's exactly what it is talking about. When life causes you to ask, in the moment of your asking, the source within you becomes the vibrational equivalent of what you've asked for, which could feel really, really good to you if you were up to speed with what you're asking for, but usually initially does not feel all that good to you because usually you're still exploring the contrast and most of you, dear hearts that you are, You've become so good at exploring contrast that often you let it engulf you. In your quest for solutions, you beat the drum of your problems far too long. It's like someone said to us, Abraham, my prayers are not being answered. And we say, it's because you're staying in the asking mode too long. If you could pray for something and move immediately to the knowledge that it has been answered, it would come quickly. But when you ask and you say, where's my stuff? When you ask and say, it's too slow in coming. When you ask and say, I'm suffering over here. When you ask and you say, is anybody listening? When you ask and you say, I don't see any improvement. When you ask and you say, see where I am, I really need it. When you ask and ask and ask from your place of mostly knowing what is, 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 what is cannot change. What is can only change when you take your attention away from what is and point it in the direction of what is becoming. You can't get over there if you're looking over here. Law of attraction does not allow it. Because whatever you are giving your attention to 
is activating within you a frequency a frequency that could be matching what you're asking for and might not be matching what you're asking for and you can tell by the way you feel if it's a match if in this moment that you're talking about something you feel elation or joy or appreciation if you feel interest or fascination then you are a vibrational match to something that's in your vibrational escrow that you've been asking for but if in this moment you feel discouragement or anger if you feel depression if you feel deprived or disappointed or disadvantaged if you feel taken advantage of if you feel that you have been wronged even though the courts of your land might very well side with you and agree with you when you feel that way you are not a vibrational match to what's in your vibrational escrow so we've been calling this gathering for a while the art of allowing it's the way you learn to let law of attraction deliver to you what your life has caused you to know that you want when you ask it is always given there are three steps to this creative process the first step is life causes you to ask some say I don't think I should ask for so much and we say you can't help it the entire universe has been established and when you are this genius leading edge creator that you are and you are surrounded by details comparisons experiences as you're exposed to the variety and details of life your thinking mechanism automatically comes to new conclusions constantly of what would be improvement and that is such a good thing even if you are a one-celled organism that's true of you even if you are a one-celled amoeba in the ocean you are exposed to experience that is causing you to come to new conclusions and the source within you turns undivided attention to that new conclusion and that is what causes the evolution of all species you see so here you are magnificent genius leading edge creators out here on the leading edge of thought exploring contrast and giving birth all day every day to new desires some of which you are up to speed with some of which you are not and so this art of allowing workshop is about helping you to figure out whether you're widening the gap between you and you or closing the gap and you get what we mean by you and you your source energy and that part of you remains some think oh I'm dead or alive I'm non-physical or physical and we say you are always non-physical and often you project some of that non-physical awareness into physical form and when you do that you have two vibrational perspectives do you get that there is the source within you who always loves and always knows well-being and there's the physical you who mind in this moment be focused upon something that makes you afraid of something so in the moment that you're focused upon something that makes you feel fear that feeling of fear is nothing more than your indication that you're focused in a way that the source within you is not focusing and will never focus the source within you knows your stability knows your worthiness knows your value knows your well-being and when you focus upon something that makes you feel not worthy or not well-being then you activate within you by virtue of your attention to it a vibration that is different from the vibration of your source and those two discordant vibrations cause emotions to be felt within you you see how it works a harmonious vibration when you look at someone and you are appreciating them and you're making lists of things you love about them when you are offering them a compliment when you are looking for their value when you are appreciating something they did when you are stepping back far enough and sometimes we know you got to step back pretty far to see good in some people when you step <laughs> back far enough when you step back far enough and you you pull your focus off the things that are bothering you and you allow yourself to see something that is a vibrational match to the way the source within you sees it when you allow yourself to see that person through the eyes of source you are filled with the wholeness of who you are but when you find fault with someone when you see their flaw even if you are justified in seeing it when you see their flaw you activate within yourself something that the source within you will never activate and your guidance system says you have the right to do this and you certainly have a perspective that is valid 
but you are choosing to linger in a vibration that is so distant from who you really are that you are now using this flaw in this person as your excuse to hold yourself in vibrational incompatibility with who you are and that's why you feel negative emotion Esther will say from time to time oh come on Abraham you got to give me this one <laughs> you it, you cannot you cannot not be noticing that it's it's so big and it's so bad and it's so wrong <laughs> and we say we notice it we just don't see it as wrong we just don't condemn it we see it and immediately take from it what we prefer and immediately turn our undivided attention to what we prefer and if you will do that you will feel as good as we do but what about writing the wrongs of the world we hear you say and we say you will never make the world a better place by beating the drum of what's wrong with it however you came forth as leading edge creators to explore the contrast because you cannot ask for improvement until you stand in a place that causes the improvement to occur to you so it's a wonderful thing that you have been willing to come forth to be an exaggerated version of step one of the process you ask step one we stand as source energy as an exaggerated version of step two because when you ask source gives undivided attention to what you're asking for looks right at your vibrational escrow and holds the thought of that which you have become because we are non-physical energy we are non-physical energy we can have the wholeness of the improvement before you can because you're waiting for physical manifestation in most cases before you allow yourself the improvement did you hear that do you know that you could claim the improvement of your desire as quickly as we do if you would be willing to look toward the solution and feel the pure positive energy of the solution if you didn't need the stuff to manifest before you feel better you'd feel better all the time and your stuff would manifest more quickly people will say I want to be over there and we'll say come on over <laughs> and they'll say I can't I'm over here and we say well why would you like to be over there and they will say because it's so miserable over here <laughs> and we say well what would be better over there tell us what's over there that you want and they will say it's a lot better than what's over here <laughs> and we say undoubtedly describe what's over there where you want to be and they will say I can't I'm not over there I'm over here but I will be happy to tell you what's over here where I don't want to be and we say don't keep talking about what's over there where you don't want to be begin talking about what's over there where you want to be give your attention to what you want find the feeling place of what you want and here's the way it plays out we're going to give you the big picture and then we want to talk with you about anything you want to talk about so your source energy you make a decision to put part of that perspective into this physical body and here you come splat you are born you explore contrast and all day every day you give birth to new desires those new desires emanate from you like rockets and are held in your vibrational escrow by the larger part of you and you have the option of turning your attention toward that and becoming a vibrational match to it in time and with practice or not so what happens as this vibrational escrow is amassing law of attraction responds to this powerful calling now what do we mean by that law of attraction was responding to you before you were born you came forth into this physical experience and every thought you think law of attraction responds to that law of attraction responds to all things across the board it's an equal opportunity law law of attraction is responding to everything we just want to put something out to appeal to your logic you get that you are an eternal being do you understand that you were before you came into this physical body do you understand or at least hope that you'll be something once you are no longer in this physical body so this eternal part of you and law of attractions response to it is huge and this physical part of you and law of attractions response to it 
is something 